small side here. I'm gonna make this angel. I used a stained glass pattern and used red heart, this mystery wood, yellow heart, and blue pine. I used a scroll saw and cut each piece and laid them out as I cut a few. There were lots of little pieces. Then I took off most of the papers. I started sanding away on the wing feathers and just rough shaping everything. I had to hang on real tight to those small pieces. on to hand sanding. Okay, I've gone over everything with the 100 grit now. And I still need to do some shaping, uh, especially here at the wings because I wanted to go whoosh, like that and stuff. So on to more shaping. I saw that the wings were a lot taller than the angel's back where they would connect. So instead of reshaping each feather, I thought it would be easier if I shaped them all at the same time. I used double-sided tape and I stuck the wings on it and then I took the whole thing to the sander. I hope this works. Ah. They stuck to the tape pretty well, but I could still see a few of them shifting a little bit as I was sanding. Well, it worked. And now I'm kind of back at the same step I was before, where I need to use uh, the hunter grip to do some shaping. Although I kind of like it like that. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I ended up rounding off the top edges of each of the feathers just to break up where each piece meets. And I tack glued them together since the pieces were so tiny. Then I used 150 grit and 220 grit on the rest of the angel. I wiped each piece with Danish oil and used a brush where the rag would reach. I should have waited to cut out this backer, um, but what I did here was I took the paper pattern and some carbon paper and then I just traced the outline of the pattern and I cut the backer with this hardboard. Um, it ended up not fitting, and that's because everything gets a little bit tweaked, you know, as you're working on the project. So what I did to make a second backer is I just took my project, the angel, and the pieces that I had tack glued together, I just put them on to the backer and then I traced around them. And that worked much better. And here I am tack gluing those pieces together to make bigger sections. It looks like it's all one piece here, but it's actually about three different pieces. 
I picked out a verse to put on the back. It is Hebrews 1.14, and it says, All angels are spirits who serve God and are sent to help those who will receive salvation. I don't remember reading about any angel that was a girl. I've only read of men or creatures with wheels for feet and heads with many faces. So I wonder where the idea of an angel being a woman came from. Well, the angel I am making here is the typical humanified angel. And even if it isn't accurate, I think it's looking pretty cool. And then I put my little size corner on the back too. I used screws to put on the hanger and they stuck out so I cut off the excess with a coping saw. Then I glued the sections to the new backer. After it was all dry, I wanted to put another coat over the Danish oil, so I wiped it down with a tack cloth and sprayed it with polyurethane. <laughs> 